Mark, frustrating evening in the end. Oh, very, yeah. Um, a really disappointing night for us in terms of, obviously, the result. Um, we know the type of game it's going to be um, and we had to be ready for that and we didn't defend the first goal well enough. That's a, that's a preventable goal for us, preventable moment. But when the wind is like it is in the first half, if you, we've, we've played that many, many times. We've played a lot of games like that last year. The ball's off the pitch a lot. There's a lot of restarts. You have to defend a lot of long passes and defend your box. We knew, we knew it was going to be like that. And the first half, we were really forced into that from very early on. A lot of long throws, a lot of corners in the box. And in the main, we did it quite well. They, they caused us a few problems playing a diamond in midfield, moved the ball well at times. But we've got, to, we've got to do more to maybe stop the ball coming in and, and to track the run in the box because I think it's a preventable moment for us. But having said that, if you can be in the game at half-time, knowing that you can come out and chase it with the wind behind you in the second half, um, you've got a real chance. And we did that and we started the second half very well. Lots of pressure, um, lots of attacking situations, set plays of our own. And it felt at that time like the game was, was ours to take and, and the next goal was going to be for us. And... Um, the finish from the lad on the second goal is a very good one, but um, we gift them the ball and we gift them a chance. And, and in that moment, really, we gift them a game. And from that point onwards, the second goal, I thought we looked a bit disjointed um, until we, you know, you get to the end point. Of course, you should put another striker on the pitch and chase it, but we were getting broken on and we didn't have any control of midfield. So we, we tried to bring control first to then chase, but we didn't really, um, we didn't really manage to do that. And they were streetwise and strong and powerful and, and they outfought us in that sense. But also throughout the night, we just didn't have enough quality in the moments we needed it with the ball. What I will say is I think it's a penalty on Brophy at 1-0. Um, and, and yet again, we had that the other night, but um, I don't know how it, how it doesn't get given. And, and that's a potential game-changing moment again. So, look, frustrating for us, but we can't hang the, hang the performance or the result on that one moment. We've got to look in the mirror and know that we can be better than that ourselves. And a streetwise and strong team came and did a job on us tonight. And you were looking for a better start than the last couple of home games as well, having conceded early. And you nearly did it again tonight as well with just a clearance off, off the line, keeping uh, keeping it level. Yeah, I think you know when you play them, you're going to come up against that. Interestingly, Steve Evans has been saying recently they have to start games better from the last couple. So we were expecting it. Um, maybe we should have turned them round and, and gone the other way in the first half. But um, we knew it was one of them where... It, it, whether it looks like it or not, the wind that comes from one end of the other to the pitch is, is quite forceful um, and it just makes it really hard for you to get out and to sustain a, a starting point higher up the pitch, particularly when any time you get up the pitch, if you don't p maintain possession or sustain an attack, they will put you straight back down the other end again. And that's where we have to make sure we use the ball and sustain some pressure well. We had moments in the first half where we did it. We got control as the half went on, I thought, and, and managed to finish the half fairly strongly. Um, so we were comfortable with that, but I don't think the start point today is down to anything um, in terms of our own you know, mindset or anything. I think it's their forceful nature of the play and the conditions a little bit played in their hands. I thought the timing of the first goal particularly was unfortunate in that you seemed to have weathered a storm at that point. Yeah, and it's a, it's a, it's a moment we can do better with. You know? I think it's a, it's a fairly simple situation. What you know is you're going to have to defend a lot of diagonals. So you've got to try and stop that if you can. Um, Oliver and Akinde win a heck of a lot of first contacts, so you have to sometimes accept that you can't win all of those, but you've got to cover that off and make sure you've got the runners in behind it. And we didn't see that out, and um, a little bit of hesitation in us defensively has, has put them ahead. Um, but we got we found our way again from that point, and as I say, at half-time, we weren't in the worst situation. The, 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 the real moment that turns the game tonight is the second goal and, and, and probably the, the non-penalty that was given at 1-0. Some encouraging performances as well, not just Jack Lancaster off the bench, but one that James Brophy had another good game, Charlo Tracy I thought had a decent game, and there were a number of players who came up from this with as much credit as you can from a 2-0 defeat. Yeah, I mean, we're not into too much praise in a moment when we, when we know we can do better. We, we don't think we were at the level we can be tonight. We think we can do better. I think individually there's a lot more from us with the ball. Um, we can learn some lessons in terms of being streetwise to, to certain situations in the game. Um, and, and I think if we all look in the mirror, we can look at it and say, look, there's more in it. There's more in it for us tonight than that. The game didn't have to quite look like that. We knew it was going to be that type of game, um, but we could have come out of it better, better outcome than we did. Cheers, Steve. Take care, mate. An ironic, I guess, if our irony is the right word, drawing a blank when he's dealt with two strikers. 
Yeah, exactly. The first time we haven't um, we haven't scored, I think, this season. So uh, frustrating. But in the end, when we got to the top third tonight, we probably didn't have a, enough moments where we made good decisions or we had the quality that we needed and a deep defence that defended their box well, in fairness to them, and blocked things. Um, we've had a lot of attempts at goal. We've had a lot of set plays towards the like, second half period at the beginning of that. Um, but we haven't really forced him into too many good saves or, or, or made Griffiths defend his goal too well. But some of our approach play was OK. Um, look, I'd say it wasn't bad, but it was a long way from good. Thanks, Mark.